Is this just is convincingly comfortable? Ah! Uh, Hell weekend, baby! Friday night. We threw our party. I don't know if you remember from like two videos ago when I bought my DJ equipment and I said my goal is to play a set at my Halloween party. I did. Successfully. Kinda. I stopped halfway through my set because uh, I was DJing in the kitchen. No one got footage of it for my vlog. But I have some like iPhone footage. I can't even play like how it sounds. I'll have copyright claims off out of my ass. Um, I just felt like left out. I literally got like FOMO at my own party from like being stuck in the corner and DJing So I just stopped it halfway through put on the collaborative playlist that like everyone contributed to and everyone was happy with that The day after that I spent the entire day scrambling to find a fun dancey event because I really wanted to dance and I got to dance at this amazing, amazingly organized, incredibly queer and vibrant rave space. It was like in this like church kind of, and it was three stories and there was a different style of music and different DJs on each floor and like the space was decorated differently. And, and my favorite one was the psych trance floor, which was like kind of in line with the theme from our party with the black lights and stuff. It just felt like a good continuation. The music was exactly what I wanted to be dancing to. It was very good and we danced till like 5 in the morning. And then we got up really early the next day to do our clothing sale. Like yeah. Janet costume? Wrong. I feel very surprisingly recharged after that weekend. Um I used to I was thinking about this today. Going out, being social, used to be so insanely draining for me. Like, if I went to school or if I had work, there was no way in hell, no way in hell you were catching me going out. And then even in general, I just wouldn't do it because I know it would just drain me. I just know, I knew it wouldn't, it wouldn't feed me, it would just take for me. Being in social situations used to make me super, super anxious and, you know, a lot of the times when I ended up doing it, it wasn't so bad. And sometimes I did feel recharged, but it was almost like the process of worrying about it, leading up to it, the actual going out or whatever, just wasn't worth it. Cause like that would, that would drain me pet. So imagine this is like equilibrium or whatever. It would drain me pet, like pretty low, like worrying about it, being so anxious about it. And then the actual like event or like seeing people itself would only charge me like this. And so I was running on like pretty empty, like n the majority of the time. And then of course, like work school just kind of keeps lowering it and lowering it. Eventually I just felt like I had nothing to give people. Like I, I couldn't contribute anything super fun or exciting to those spaces anyway. So I might as well not. Being in like lockdown or whatever for the past however long allowed me to really like get to know myself in such a beautiful way that I feel like it allowed me to like forage and search for and compile a resource like my personal resources so that I'm excited to like bring that to a space. I used to worry so much about being interesting. I used to like get myself into predicaments and crazy situations just so that I could have a story to tell. Just so I could feel interesting. I feel like I didn't have many interesting thoughts or likes, dislikes, opinions. Like I didn't, I felt like I had nothing to like contribute to conversation or to people in my life. So I would like put myself in like horrifying or funny or cursed situations so that I could like tell people a story. <laughs> and I also remember when I used to hang out with people I liked in high school, like people I had a crush on, I used to like write in my notes app on my phone like lists of like topics I could bring up if the conversation got dull. I was so worried about that but I've, I've felt such a transformation and I know this is this might not be a universal experience. I feel like I compiled my personal resources and got to know myself on such a beautiful and intimate level that I'm excited to like meet new people and like share that with them and rejoice in like their uniqueness and like their interesting stories and personalities and stuff. But like, 
if I had done what I did this weekend a couple years ago before COVID and stuff, I would be done. Like, you wouldn't hear from me for a month. So you never, like, see you in, like, the new year, really. But I feel, like, energized after that weekend. Sid and I really, really wanted to make fall time and, like, Halloween and stuff this year, like, really special. So, you know, we did our, like, Friendsgiving, we did our Halloween party, we, like, put together this clothing sale. We had, like, what felt like the most fun and productive weekend ever. It was so fulfilling. And I weirdly feel so energized by it and, like, uplifted from it. And I just, I can't believe I'm saying that because <laughs> two years ago, I would be done. <laughs> That's also not to say that, like, being introverted is invaluable or, like, incorrect. Like, that's actually what got me to the point of being able to, like, feel better in social situations was, like, spending a year and a half completely isolated, completely alone, and, like, getting to know myself. So if you feel like you're, like, not interesting or you don't really, like, know yourself all that well, take some time. Like, you know, like, time alone can be very valuable. It's, it's literally how I feel like I got to know myself on a whole different level, so... I, I really treasure that. I think COVID was a really good time for that. And I hope you feel that too. You know, like I hope it wasn't just a time of like isolation and feeling disconnected. I hope you felt connected to yourself in a new way. I kind of am in a bit of recovery mode right now because I danced for like seven hours straight. Tom surprised me with a lush bath bomb yesterday. So I'm gonna use that now and sit in the bath and do some homework because I, starting on Friday morning, I said, let's forget about school for a little bit. Let's pretend deadlines don't exist. Let's pretend I don't have a midterm this Saturday. Let's make believe, okay? And now I'm stressed. That's initially what was just in this bowl. I was gonna slop some lemon juice, olive oil, and some spices on there and just eat some beans. But I figured I'd need a bit more of a well-rounded meal. I think 
meal prepping would be good for me. So I'm prepping a meal. I just need like a little salad to be able to munch on whenever I feel like it. Garlic powder is my bitch. This is the best seasoning I've ever come across. Oh, it's so... It's literally all dressed chips. It's like everything but the bagel seasoning, but it's like all dressed but the chips. Mmm, mmm, I can't even tell you. This is the one. I'm telling you, all dressed chips. Oregano. Guys, I hate to say it, but I'm like really on one today. I think I drank four lattes. And like a few espresso shots in between. I'm, I'm sitting here trying so hard to catch up on my schoolwork, but I am just progressively like losing my mind and getting so distracted and hopping all over the place. I need to ground myself and I'll get back to you. I think this salad's gonna be really good. I think it's gonna be really good. I can't even lie to you guys. Mm. Is it weird if I just go in with my hands. It's just me eating it. One of my favorite Russian chefs on youtube.com does this all the time, so... Mmm. That's a big yum yum. It's a big big yum salad. Mmm. I am a salad god. Mmm. Salads are one of the most fun foods to like get creative with. Same with stir fries, roast vegetables, anything that involves like picking out a colorful assortment of like veggies, fresh produce, goods from the earth that you get to like assemble and make into like a textural, colorful amalgamation of your wildest dreams. That's like one of the coolest things I've ever heard. And making stir fries and salads and like beautiful veggie dishes and plates was like one of the first things that like actually got me loving cooking. I could make a whole video about how I learned how to cook because let me tell you, when I first moved out, I had no idea like how to grocery shop, how to do any, like I didn't know what to make for my meals. If you have like, let's say three foundations for like types of meals, a pasta dish, a stir fry, a salad, you can go wild with all of those bases. So I used to have so much fun going to like the farmer's market, or like going to the produce section and like finding all these new like root vegetables that I wanted to like roast or like new types of radishes that I wanted in my stir fries. Like it was just, when you have those bases, you can go wild. Calms you. You like Matt Healy more and more every day. Whoa. <gasps> yeah. Really? Yeah. It are hard, hard, hard. My heart is hard. Stop, we're gonna get copyright claimed. <laughs> Got a package. May I just first, may I just first say, I don't know if these clips are gonna be usable. As you can hear, I lost my voice. I sound like a, a wild animal, <laughs> but I was feeling a little haul moment. I ordered a lot of new active wear, which I desperately needed. My lovely coworker recommended me airy leggings, like American Eagle or whatever. So I ordered like five pairs, which is a gamble, you know, like, for me, leggings are similar to a pair of jeans. They have to fit just right, or like, what's the point? Like, I can barely describe this feeling. They are the stretchiest clothes I've ever worn, but still so like form-fitted and like shaping. These are the most comfortable pants I've ever worn, dead ass. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Are you dumb? Anyways, I just wanted to share this because I'm really excited about these leggings. If you're a leggings hater, grow up. Sometimes leggings are the only pants that make me feel good, so keep it to yourself. But if you love leggings, you love athleisure, you love to feel good in your body, fucking air, you bitch. Use my discount code. Just kidding, I don't have one, but if anyone wants to sponsor me, like, my DMs are open. Okay, anyways, I need to stop talking and I need to go lay down for many days, so I'll talk to you guys whenever that is. <laughs> See ya.